Hey guys, today I'm gonna do um, a strangled look. It's gonna be like, you're gonna be strangled by lights. Yeah. Hey guys, what is up? So we're gonna do a special facts look on like getting strangled by lights, I guess. That's how it's gonna go down. Um, yeah, so first I'm gonna put some latex and I'm drawing two lines. They're not like an X, they're more like an, uh, I don't know how to say it, but you see, you can see, you can see. And then I'm gonna put latex, I mean, uh, cotton over it after I put the latex on, and then I'm gonna put latex on it again. So it's like a sandwich with latex on top. As you can see, I'm using the latex to smooth the cotton out so it goes in like natural skin, I guess. Now after it's dry, but like little dry, like not fully dry, then I'm gonna rip it apart and kind of mold it in the way I want it to be molded. We're kind of going for like little raccoon scratches across your neck, but like not. Yeah, I don't know. We don't, what I'm saying is we want holes in your neck. <laughs> now I'm doing the same thing to the other side. I, I don't know why I'm talking to you like you're blind. I mean, if you are blind, I don't recommend my videos because I'm not very good at narrating. Okay, and so I'm doing the same thing to the other side and other lines and stuff and stuff. I'm done. Oh my gosh, I sound like Toby from the office. I'm so sorry. Um, So after this, we're going to powder it. And then we're going to do stuff to the face. So now I'm going to take my alcohol activated face paints, which is um, Skin Illustrator Zombie Palette. And then I'm going to get a spongy brush. And I just use the makeup sponge and like, you know, broke off the ends. And then we're going to go in the vein color. And then we're just going to blotch it on our skin to make it look like our, like, Vessels have popped You you don't need to use alcohol activated paints, but it, it's good for looking like it's underneath the skin instead of on top of it That's why I recommend it. It's just kind of expensive. It's like the one I got was $80. So Yeah, but it like stays for a long time and um, you can wipe off It after you're done, which is what I'm doing and then um, it will look more like it's in the skin and less like dramatic now you could use the same colored foundation or concealer, but I don't have that because I don't. I just don't. So I'm just using a cream paint that looks like my skin, and you just want to blend in the cuts into your skin so it looks like it's your cuts, you know. Um, so I'm taking a like a pink shade of cream paint and I'm putting it around it, but like not on top of it, and I'm kind of smudging it around so it looks like it's irritated, but it doesn't look like it's pink. So don't put too much on it. I'm just doing it to the both sides around my neck. Now I'm taking a brownish red from Mayron's Bruise Wheel and then I'm putting that in the cuts and I'm just um, making it look like it's, you know, bleeding and inside it's just a brown reddish and it looks like scab. Now I'm going to start doing more stuff to the face. So um, I'm taking like a br brownish bluish, as you see, from Ben Nye's Bruise Wheel. Um, and then I'm putting that in uh, the corners of my eye, on the outside, in the corners. And then I'm smudging it, but I smudged it a lot, so I had to go over it a lot. And I'm taking that blue and I'm putting it on my lid, so it looks like the pressure's coming out of my eye. Um, I got this from, uh, what's her name? Uh, I love her. Mikey from Glam and Gore, you should check her out, she's amazing. She says, she's a doctor, so she says that um, it comes out of her eyes. So I'm just playing with it, putting some pink in it, but mostly just keeping it look like it's dead. Um, and then I'm doing the same thing to the other eye. And then after that, I'm going to put some veins. Now I'm taking the red from the Ben Nye, and I'm putting that... Um, on the edges of my eyes and but I put it in different spots like right here I thought it would look like wings like winged eyeliner I don't know I just didn't like it so um I kind of fixed it now I'm taking a really skinny brush and I'm going into skin illustrator zombie palette with the vein color like I did before and I'm just making um veins going up my chin and basically just think of lightning bolts across the sky and just put that on your face you might want to dab it a little bit or um, make sure like some parts are more noticeable than others. 
because only some pop out. And I'm putting that around my chin, um, the sides of my cheeks, like my forehead mostly, and um, so and a little bit down my eyes. So now I'm going in with the Zombie Palette Skin Illustrator um, again, and I'm just putting aged blood or bloody tone. But basically, if you don't have that, which you probably don't, you could just use like um, just not not real blood, but like um, like a cream colored paint that looks like blood I'm just putting that inside the cuts to make it more realistic Let's see now I put some white eyeliner on my eyes to make it look like my ass popped out you know cuz this dress like a I'm sorry and then I'm taking scab blood from Ben Nye which is the best stuff I use it in everything um so I used um, Ben Nye scab blood and I'm putting that in the cuts and what scab blood does is it makes it look like really gory blood, but like thick. It's like gel and just stays on for like forever. So yeah, it's awesome. And it comes off really easily with water. So I like that. Now I'm taking Mayron's, uh like a dark red and I'm putting that on my eye to make it look like the blood vessels popped, but I'm doing it differently on each eye. So it's not symmetrical, it's asymmetrical. Now I'm taking some blood, um, like a scab blood and I put it in water and I dripped it down to make it look like my eyes were bleeding because of this pressure of the Christmas lights strangling my throat, you know. Now I'm taking this Christmas, like a uh, little Christmas lights that like aren't um, plugged in the wall. They're kind of like LEDs and they're like battery operated and stuff. Uh, make sure someone's by you and not like B because if you actually do like suffocate yourself it's not cool, you know, especially around the holidays. So like make sure someone's around and just wrap it around safely, not very tight. I don't want you dying. And then I'm gonna put in my white mesh contacts that I got from Camo Eyes. So, Happy New Year, and I'm done with this tutorial. But look at that ugly face, ready? One, two, ah, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Go, get away, bye. If you liked this video, I sure did. Comment, like, subscribe. Goodbye.